everyone, this is Mr. Clown Zero One, and today we're looking at the Disney Vinylmation Animal Kingdom set. You see here I have all 12 in the set. We'll go over them briefly. This is the giraffe. This is the bear. This is the buffalo. The cheetah. Black panther. Uh, actually, that may be a, le a leopard, I guess. Uh, tiger, white tiger. Polar bear. Zebra. Ape and tiger. Now let's look at the box real quick. These are window box, so you know what you buy, which I really like. See, we have nice artwork, nice animal patterns on the top, sides, not on the bottom, it's just green, but that's okay. No one looks at the bottom. Now these are nice boxes, but I just don't keep things in boxes. And in particular, these, I, you can't really, I don't feel you can appreciate vinylmation in the box. And also, if you, I think they should open the window a little bit more so you could see more of the figures so people who do wish to keep them in the box could. Also if they could make put a little bit of window right there so the light could shine in. But nonetheless this is a very attractive box. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this one because this is the giraffe and he has a neck extension and I'm just curious how that works. So I'm going to put this, let me, my knife is right here. So we're going to open him. Okay. And here is the neck extension. Okay. So we'll put that here. Take them out. They come out very easily. Now, I guess what you do is you pop the head off, put that on, and then pop the head back on. I really wish they would have had just a little bit of instructions or something, because, well, there's no instructions. But not everyone can figure this stuff out, so. Oh, thankfully I didn't break it. See, it just pops off. Now, let me unpackage this. And we can see by the outline that must be the front. Looks like the bottom of his neck, so we'll just ah, pop that on there. Then we'll pop the head on. Uh, there he goes. And there we have the giraffe with the neck extension. Very cute. Now what I will do is I'll open them all up and we'll look at all of them. I just wanted to show you all how that worked. Okay, here we have the six cats in the series. Now, typically I don't show this many at once, but really, in looking at them, these two are the same. They're just painted different colors, and these two are the same. They're just painted different colors. One cool thing about this series I've noticed is they all have a hidden Mickey somewhere on them, or, all, or most of them. I, I'm not. If we look at the cheetah here, and it looks the same on this one, you can see. Maybe you can see. Let's see if I can get it. There's a little Mickey. right there. Uh, hopefully the camera will pick that up. And if you look also the artist Dan did something kind of cool. Different ones have different signatures like this and Spotted. They're all a little different. That, that makes it really nice. We'll give you a 360 of the leopard or cheetah. Maybe it's a leopard because that would make sense because we have the black leopard and the leopard. I'll go ahead and give you 360 of the black leopard, although really the spots on him are very, 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 very subtle. His hidden Mickey appears to be in the same place, but I'm not really sure because it's so hard to see that. Now we'll look at the cheetah. Let's go ahead and give you 360 on that. Do, 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 do. Let's see if I can find his hidden Mickey again. There it is, right there. Okay. Hopefully you can kind of see it right there under my, right above my thumb. Again, and look at the art. See, he's got spots too. Now we'll look at the tiger, normal tiger. And look at the signature here. It's kind of in tiger stripe. The hidden Mickey on this one is right there. I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but it's right, right here in the stripe there. It's the same on this one. This is the same paint, like a 
We'll go ahead and give you a quick 360 of it. And there's the hidden Mickey. I think it may be a little clearer on this one because the black and white shows up a little bit better. But you can see them right there. Okay, now we'll take a look at the tiger. Or excuse me, the lion. I, I know my animals. I'm just there's a lot of animals here. Okay, so let's do a 360 of him. Put him down. And the hidden Mickey was on right, right there. On this one. And again, you see a little bit different artwork on the signature. And next we have the brown bear, I guess, the polar bear, and the buffalo or bison. I really think this polar bear looks more like a koala bear. Just reminds me of one. I don't know why. But we'll give a look at the brown bear. And see we have unique artwork on the, the feet and the hidden Mickey it's kind of hard to see. Let me see if I can find it again real quick. There it is. Okay, I don't know if you can see it, but it's right there. Hidden in the artwork. And surprisingly, they painted the brown bear different than the polar bear. That's kind of a nice touch. Okay, now let's look at the hidden Mickey. It is right here. Hopefully, hopefully that'll show up. And then on the bottom we can see they did some cool things with the artwork. It's kind of like icy. And here we have the buffalo. Unfortunately he's very dark. I don't know how well he'll turn out. Let's give you a 360. I kind of like the buffalo. I'm really surprised looking at it how nice he really is. There's a lot of detail on him. But you've got to kind of got to see him because it's so dark. The culture is so dark on here. Now his hidden Mickey was very difficult to find. It took me a while. It is right there. Here we have the gorilla, the zebra, and the giraffe. The gorilla is again one of the dark ones. Let's take a 360. We'll look at the artwork on the bottom if it shows up. It's brown on black, so. And the hidden Mickey is right there. Again, that may not show up. Next we have the zebra. Signature on the bottom is kind of in zebra print. And the hidden Mickey, where was that thing? I just saw it. There it is, right there. On the side. Now we have the giraffe. The giraffe is probably the most popular one in this series. There was a rumor apparently that it was short packed or whatever. I don't know if that's true. I don't think it was. But he was harder to get in the series. He is very cute. On the neck extension just makes him very unique. Turn him around. And the hidden Mickey on this one is not really so hidden. It's right up front. Let's see. Let's see if I can get a little bit better view of that for you. Yeah. It's right there, right in the front. And you can see the artwork on the bottom. So this concludes our look at the Disney Vinylmation Animal Kingdom series. Uh, usually I pick a favorite in this and these are all so well done and so nice. It's really hard for me to do that. Uh, I think that the animal shapes you know, from the Mickey, they all take it very well. And they all look really, really nice. Um, if I had to pick one, it'd probably have to be the giraffe just because that's the only one I don't have with a, I mean, it's the only figure I have with a neck extension, and that makes it a little more unique. But this is a really, really nice series. Uh, if you have a favorite, let me know what it is in the show notes. Leave a comment. And as always, have a great day.